Namaste everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have brought this new topic. Okay, it's a part two of the same topic but with a new content that is about the wrist. So we will do the age estimation of X-ray of the wrist in forensic medicine. This is just the general anatomy which I want you to know. So that's an X-ray of a mature human being. And here you can see the phalanges, metacarpus and carpus. Okay, so just uh, for a review, this is there. These are the carpal bones. So you have to know the number and the uh, name of the carpal bones. Not like nasal, you know, you will not be asked a name, but at least you should know the number of carpal bones. Okay, and then this is how they look in the X-ray. So just take a snap of this picture in your brain. Now this is from the radii, okay. So here we will be focusing towards the radius and the ulna. So the secondary center of ossification in the radius, in the up, in the head of radius, it comes at five years of age, whereas in the base of the radius, it comes at two years of age. Whereas in ulna, it comes at nine years of age, and the base it comes as five to six years of age, and this is something that you need to mug up. You need to mug up. Okay. 5 to 9, 5 to 6. What you can do is you can just remember like this. So this is the head of radius. This is the base of ulna. So head of radius and base of ulna 5, 5. Okay. 5, 5. After that you have to remember 9 and 2. And one more thing that you can see here is that the eight, in 18 to 19 years of age, both of them they get fused okay this lower end of both radius and online it gets fused so just remember this much for now this was about this uh, age estimation okay now let's move to the next slide so in the next slide you can see i have just written down the same thing so upper of radius at five uh, upper end of ulna nine lower end of radius two years lower end of ulna five to six years number of carp okay before going on let's list this one base of first metacarpal appears at three to five years of age and head of other metacarpals appears at three to five years of age means both of them they appear at the same time but in the mid first metacarpal it bears appears whereas in the head in other metacarpals their head appears okay so this is like this i'll show this in the picture so right now also i can show you suppose if this is the first metacarpal and suppose these are the you know other so sorry for my brain so the base of the first metacarpal and the head okay of the other metacarpal so this is what it meant to say and after that piciform it appears at 12 years of age piciform uh, carpal bone appears at 12 years of age and number of carpal bone is question number of age what i meant to say is that if you see like one carpal bone you will write almost like one year okay within since we have to write um this is in a range form we cannot just write an exact date exact year we have to write it in a range so if you see just one so it will be around one year of age if you see two then what you can write it around is like like one to two years of age after that three years of age or four years of age according to the number of carpal bone you can write the number of age but this is not like the uh, actual method this is just made so that you, it will be easier for you to estimate the age okay i will explain this again in the next slide so in the previous uh, slide i explained you that number of carpals is equal to number of is yes that's true if you see three carpals there is three if you see four four if you see five five if you see six six and if you see six seven seven okay but for the first two okay you have to remember that from the third it will be in years okay but the, for the first two they will be in month second month and third or fourth month okay to make it easier you can remember uh exactly like if you see two you can easily call one as one year and if you see two two as two year and if it's a three three years there will be no problem but if you want to be more accurate then or uh, if you can mug up then remember that this first will be at second month of okay is and then hamid will be at three to 
four months of age okay so the first one to occur will be capital which is at the second month so you can remember it as one year only or you can remember it as second month the habit also you can remember as one more or you can remember as three to four months so one year then there is no two say okay now two, after two years there is again one year only that is three to four months then there is three years four years five years six years seven years according to the number of the carpals it's very easy only the confusing part is here so if you see one one year okay clear very much clear if you see two then you can either say two years if you don't want to say two years you can be more exact okay then you can write one year only with three to four months okay which is about three to four months then according to the number of carpals that is three four five six seven eight nine ten this is just a normal actually of an adult and a newly born child so as you can see there is no carpals Okay, and what we have done order is they form when the child is one year of age, one year old, that is at least two months to four months. And you can see there are no carpal bones. That means the child is newly, newly born, okay, less than one month. So in this way, you can definitely know the age of the child. So this is a newly born one and this is of the mature one. Deal with the first question. Very easy. Okay, the very easy way we will deal with it. The first thing that we will see is the this part always okay you can see carpals also but i will suggest you to see this because these have the greater range if their number is less than c at the uh, radius and online so in radius you can see the lower end of the radius according to this is that it comes at two years of age when should the lower end of the ulna come it should appear at five years of age so it hasn't appeared means that the child still has not reached five years of age okay so from from this it's very clear the child has not reached five years of age and here since it has appeared at two years of age means it has reached two years of age now when we see at these two carpal bones i said that each carpal bone is going to number of age so one year and two years so you can see here this the lower end of radius has formed that means it has reached two years of age and there are two carpal bones which means number of carpal bone is called number of age so it becomes two years from here also so what will the range of the age from here we can see that it is from two to five years why because for the lower of radius to come, secondary center of ossification and lower of radius, lower end of radius to come, the child has to reach two years of age, right? And for the lower end of ulna to come, child has to reach five years of age. And if this is not there, that means that child is still has not completed five years of age. So the last lower, this the, the last value will be the five, and the earlier value will be two years of age. Okay if you write like four months if you think this is looking at the previous slide if you think of writing like three to four months to you know five years or two to five years which will be correct this will be correct because this will have more precision looking at many factors okay so let's go to next slide so that you will be again understand so this is what it's the next slide so here what you can see okay is this first look at this then look at this then look at this right so what we can see here is that lower of radius two years of age here it will come at five years of age that means still the child has not reached five so the last value will be five okay in the front what we will write is here is one two three means two years of age has been reached okay it is clear now what is the age we will look from the carpal so since there are three carpal bones so the age will be one two three number of carpal bone is question number of is that means for now till now three years is has been confirmed so three to five it looks like three to five till now now if you look at the upper part see you can see the okay head of the other metacarpals there but the base of the first metacarpal is still is not there but at least the head is there which usually happens in three to five years of age right we had already studied that so what we can see say that is that if, if this is still left to come that means the child is still left to you know complete the three to five years of age at least 
beyond five years of age so what we can write is its age will be around three to five years of age why because wait because this lower end of radius has appeared all night is still left to come and all the head and base has still left to come and there, there are three number of carpal bones so three to five will be the correct answer with the more precision. even if you write two to five sorry two to five it will be right but which will be more correct and precise will be three to five because you can already see three carpal bone here right so this is we in this way we will estimate the age and let's look at this let's look at this let's look at this okay so radius and online that means two it is not still appeared that means less than five hundred percent sure because this has still not appeared so less than five so we will write five here after that one two three four number of carpal bones is got a number of is simple so for now at least it's like four okay what we say, can see your head of the other metacarpals and the base of the first metacarpal has appeared that means it occurs usually at three to five years of age so the interval will be from here three to five but since there are four metacarpals which is more closer okay three to five means there occurs four also no so since there are four metacarpals what we will write four to five years of age okay even three to five will also be correct but if you write 4 to 5, it will be more precise. Since the carpal bones has come, this means the person has reached 4 years of age completely. Okay. And that means after that looking here, since the lower end of online has not appeared, so it's less than 5. So 4 to 5. It's very easy. You don't need to, you know, go through a lot of things. Just look at the few things, especially the radius and online. After that, you look, you can look at this upper part and then don't forget to look at the carpals. According to the carpals, then you select the is if there are four four to five okay. so now let's look at this new slide okay so what we can see here is um i can so you can see this part right this part you can see this you can see this okay so now let's look at them one by one so if we could and look at this it comes at what is of your five this two and you can i can see pc form bone also here so which usually arrives at 12 years of age i can see the base of first metacarpal i cannot see the head but base of first metacarpal which usually comes at three to five years of age right so among here which is the highest value 12 is the highest value now what we can what we know is that the person has already reached 12 years of age looking at all the given information now what is the next value so that we can know what is the next is we can know by looking at the you know whether they have fused or not if piciform bone has come and all other bones radius ulna and head of first metacarpal you can see they have not fused so if they are left to fuse that means that they have not still crossed 19 years of age right because all of them they fuse at 19 years of age right so that means pc form bone has come which is the last bone to come okay after that in the wrist area after that other bones they haven't fused which fuses as 19 years of age that means they haven't reached over 19 they are not below 12 so that is they are between 12 to 19 years of age or if you want to be more precise okay if you want to be more precise you can even say it as uh, 12 to 15 because why because for the fusion of the lower end of the epiphysis it happens usually at 15 years of age okay so since the fusion hasn't appeared so you can uh, this will be like a little tough to remember right if you just take a whole consideration then it's 12 to 19 okay whole of them okay with no doubt but if you just uh, look at this the, fir the first center the, the first metacarpal then usually the fusion happens at 15 years of age so you can write at 12 to 15 also okay or 12 to 19 will also be not wrong right 
so this is how you can solve it so 12 if you if you really is now you are not able to remember everything because you know exam time is already yes you know so much to study and we cannot it's like always remember everything so that time for you know for the exam purpose you can remember that all of them they will fuse around 19 to 20 years of age okay but suppose if you if you can remember then you can remember that the first metacarpal will fuse usually around the 15 years of age and if it is has not fused that means the child is still less than 15 and you can write 12 to 15 years of age this is how we can solve all the problems of the forensic medicine it's, it's not difficult you just need to remember a few things few points which i've already explained just go through the slides and just remember now when does the base of the radius come when does the head of radius come when does the base of onla come when does the head of onla comes when does this mesocarpal appears number of metacarpals is called the number of a's if we see pc form that means that it comes at 12 years of age and which is the last almost it is the last one so if you see almost like eight you have to understand that pc form has also come all right so after that look whether there has been fusion or not if no fusion that means that still the child is below 19 if fusion then that means the child is above 19 and you look at the head of the first metacarpal and if you see that there is no fusion then you can write it's between 12 to 15 or 12 to 19 so this is all about the uh, age estimation from x-ray of the wrist i hope that you like this video if like if you like this video then please do like share and subscribe to my channel